Hi everybody and welcome to Dave's Brick House. Today we're talking about BrickLink Studio Design Software. In today's video we're going to talk about one of my favorite features in BrickLink Studio and that is submodels. For those of you who don't know, BrickLink Studio is a free application available for both Windows and Mac that allows you to do digital designs of your LEGO models. I use it extensively on my large models because it really helps to figure out how many of each part I need and it also makes it quick and easy to try different design variations and color changes. So let's dive into the software a little bit and I'll show you more about submodels. So let's go into my Schloss Leopoldsgren model. This is a model I did a video on recently. Uh, and this is one where I made extensive use of uh, submodels. So let's take a look at this. You'll notice when I mouse over these floors, you see this green outline next to each one. That indicates that this is a submodel. So let me show you what a submodel is. If I click on this floor, right click, go to the submodel menu and go into view, you see now it shows me just this floor. And by the way, having submodels makes it really much easier to work during the design process because you can isolate it down just to one area of the model. It also makes building easier because a lot of these, you'll, as you'll see here in a minute, there's a lot of repetition in this particular model. And with the submodels, I can actually kind of build things assembly line style in multiple pieces and then uh, it's much quicker. So you'll notice when I mouse over this, I get the outline again. But I also get that outline here, here, and here. And then these two are duplicated, and this and this are duplicated, because they're all common design elements. So like if I go into here, this is a wall section. If I go into here, um, now you'll see that this has the five windows. Well, there's another submodel here. So I can drill into that. And now I'm into the final layer of the model. I could have more submodels, but this one doesn't. So let me show you the kind of things you can do. This was great when I was trying different um, window techniques, trying to figure out what I liked the look of because it made it quick and easy to come and change things. But for the sake of this, let's go select everything that's tan and I'll change it to red, something I would never do, but it'll make it easy to see. So now if we go back to the upper level, you'll see that these are all now red just with one change. And if I go back out again, now you'll see that they're all changed across the entire floor. Um, and that makes it just much easier and quicker to, like I said, make these kind of changes. So let me show you a little bit about how you actually make a submodel. We'll open a new thing here. And uh, I don't know, let's, let's uh, start with a, a window frame, door frame, whatever you want to call it. And we'll put that here. Oops. And then we, I'm, I'm going to make a, a, a snot window assembly. So We'll do this, and I'm going to take one of my favorite pieces for doing that, and this is the one by one by one and two thirds brick. It's great for stuff like this. And then take a tile. And now you'll notice if you look on this top down, and I get it lined up properly, that it is exactly on a stud boundary, so it fits quite well. So now we need to take something to put it on. Um, so let's do this, grab myself a one by one by five and a one by one. And now because, well, just trust me, this has to be a tile. So let's go grab a one by four tile here. And now, oh, and actually I was gonna show you if we can make this into a submodel too. So submodel create, and we'll just call it top, top window. So now we have this and you can move it around as one piece. Um, and again, it has all the benefits of being able to change it later. But the other thing is, so now if I do this, let me put this here so that it's lined up right. And I do that. Now I can make this whole thing a submodel. Window assembly. And then if I duplicate this, All of a sudden we have a nice wall here but it would be very easy to come back in for example and again change this to let's change this to I don't I don't know if they make these in white but one by one by six yeah so let's change it to this instead there 
And now if we go back out again, now we have this different look and it was just one click. So there is a quick overview of submodels. So that's the video on submodels in Bricklink Studio. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you want to be notified on future videos that I put out, consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell icon to get a notification. Thanks for watching and go build something that makes you smile. Ooh, 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 ooh.